Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about my brother, Jason, played by the wonderful John Walmsley. If you're enjoying these videos, please hit like and subscribe, and you can add any comments below, questions you might be interested in, etc. So on to John Walmsley. Besides John Boy, John Walmsley, Jason, was the second oldest brother. So it was John Boy, then Jason, and then me, Mary Ellen. So in the homecoming, he probably stood out most as the musician of the family, which was sort of his role throughout the series. In the homecoming, of course, he played the harmonica. And I believe even in our audition, he had his harmonica with him and played during the audition. He was playing, I believe life is just a bowl of cherries. So John really does play the harmonica and he does play every instrument you saw him play on the Waltons, the guitar, the piano, the banjo. I, I can't tell you how many instruments he plays. He's such a gifted musician. Pretty much anything you want him to play, he can play. He also wrote some of the songs that he performed in the Waltons, like Ironing Board Blues, he wrote. Uh, and so we always, we always had such fun when, when he was performing one of his own songs. In later years, uh, when we did we did a Walton Christmas CD. There were two of them. There was a, an original album that was done early in the in the show, and that was not us. <laughs> Will Gear did do some readings for that CD or that album, but they had a number of singers just come into the studio and basically pretend to be us. And we joked about, oh, they they brought studio singers in and said, sing badly. Said, well, we could have shown up and sung badly. <laughs> but in later years, after the series was over, uh, we did do an actual Christmas CD that John produced. Uh, unfortunately, the record label that produced that CD went out of business, so it's very hard to find the CD now. It was a Walton Christmas together again. So it may be available in, like, to buy off of someone who maybe is selling theirs or made bootleg copies of it. We shouldn't be doing that, but um, if you might be able to find that on eBay or it's probably a, kind of a collector's item now. But John produced that, played many instruments on that, wrote some of the songs for that, and it was it was quite a lovely job that John did on that. On that CD also originated the song Good Night that John and I sang the verses for, and then everyone sang on the choruses. John and I re-recorded a version of that later for the Earl Hamner Storyteller documentary about Earl Hamner's life. So I'll play you a little snippet of it here. It's time to turn out the John was born in Lancashire, England. And when I believe he was about two, he moved to the United States. In his early career, he voiced uh, Christopher Robin in a number of Winnie the Pooh uh, movies. I don't know that he did the TV series, but he did do some of the movies and then also some of the movies in later years. He went back and voiced Christopher Robin again. So he was able to take advantage of his early English accent, and he puts on a great English accent, even though under normal circumstances, he does not speak with an English accent. In more recent years, he and his wife moved back to England and they're living in Cornwall, in the, in the Cornwall area there. So he has gone back to his roots. Prior to the Waltons, besides voicing Christopher Robin, John did a number of TV shows and movies. He did episodes of things like Combat and Daniel Boone. Uh, and then he did some, he did the Disney movie, the one and only genuine original family band that had just a fabulous cast, Buddy Ebsen and Kurt Russell, Walter Brennan, Leslie Ann Warren, John Davidson, and of course, John Walmsley. And that did include music 
And I'm not sure how many of the cast actually played instruments, but John did play his own instruments, I believe, in that one. The character of Jason had his own unique personality. Uh, sometimes he was funny. Uh, I, I loved when he would get caught and try to look innocent. He had, a, he had a really good sense of comedy in his work, and that quite often showed, as in the Thanksgiving story that I recently talked about, where he looks oh so innocent when uh, the Baldwin ladies are talking about how they want to adopt him and how he is making the recipe for them. Jason Walton, am I to understand that you have been helping them make the recipe? Yes, Mama. Uh, so I love that. But he could also, with the brothers, I love the relationship between the brothers. And of course, Jason and Ben and Jim Bob shared a bedroom and, you know, that they would fight. And I remember in the Easter story that John Boy had to come in and break up a fight. It wasn't the first time. They would sort of have fun batting each other around. Uh, most of the time, not seriously, but sometimes it was supposed to be more serious. Uh, he teased the rest of us, you know, being one of the older brothers. He gave me a hard time when I was going to go off to nursing school and, and said I was going to need a lot of really big erasers because I obviously was going to make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so I love the that each of us had a particular relationship with each of our other siblings. At the dinner table, most of the time I sat between John Boy and Jason. So those were, you know, I got to sit between my, my two oldest brothers, which was, which was really cool. Uh, it was a relatively safe place to sit <laughs> based on the dynamics of the family. Uh, John is, he's, he's very professional. He's very, he's a perfectionist. He likes to get things right. He will rehearse over and over with music and stuff like that. His standards are very high. So he always took the work like a professional, although he would clown around and stuff. He was probably one to take it all a bit more seriously than some of the younger ones, which I always appreciated. Uh, uh, you know, I respect his standards and that they are so high. And when we were doing things like the CD and stuff, you know, that was important because then the product that we got was really top notch. I always considered John a really a keen observer. He can seem like he's daydreaming or, or something or not really paying attention, but then, and he may not say a lot sometimes when there's a lot of other things going on around or everybody's talking, but one-on-one -on -one at times when I've had conversations with him, he he's a very keen observer and in his work, although he, he's, he can be very subtle, his emotions, he has the ability for his emotions to be very transparent, which is a wonderful quality in a performer. And he imbues all of his music in the same way. Some of the episodes that I know he particularly enjoyed, he loved work being able to work with Merle Haggard, of course, you know, working with a music legend like that for someone like John, who, you know, music was such a part of his life, was a thrill for him. He also did beautiful work and loved also the episode, The Gift with Ron Howard. Interesting, I've always felt that they had a lot of similarities in the way they looked and some of their styles. So to see the two of them work together was just beautiful. And that was just such a lovely episode and a treat for all of us to get to work with Ron Howard, who was already quite the television star from his days on the Andy Griffith show. And he had quite a career by the time he came to the Waltons. We caught him in between you know, the Andy Griffith show and becoming a big time director. <laughs> so we were lucky to catch him uh, before he, you know, his career totally took off and he would have been out of our league to bring on to the Waltons. <laughs> Post Waltons, John went on to predominantly pursue music, although he did you know, come back and do all of the various Walton reunion movies that we did. He also really uh, worked professionally a lot as a musician. He had his own band. He did a lot of studio work. He played with Richard Marks on tour. He played with people like Richard Marks and the Doobie Brothers and, you know, Almond Brothers. He's, he's just worked with some really top-notch uh, 
musicians and performers. So uh, I, I'm just so proud of him and so admire his talent in that capacity. Uh, and it's, it's always wonderful when we get to get together and, and do something else Walton related. Uh, now that he's so much further away from us over in England, we hope to get over to visit him. And we're always thrilled when we can get together for some sort of a, our, you know, our family reunion. And even when our family reunion includes all of you as part of our family reunion. So that is just a little snippet about my brother, Jason, played by the wonderful John Walmsley. If you want to explore more about his music and John, and he's got, he, he writes a wonderful blog. Uh, check out his website at johnwalmsleymusic.com and you can order pictures and CDs and stuff there. And I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy where I'll be taking up more of your questions. Till later, thanks for watching.